Imagine it's 1070, during the age of traditional men, when all that surrounds you is bare land, wild animals, and nature. The only way to eat out here is through hunting and maybe farming. Then imagine yourself now, during the age of modern men, surrounded with advanced technology, modern housing, and lots of junk food. Pretty sure they made it wrong, but who cares? I'm here to enjoy it. The traditional man and modern man are very different in today's world, in that the traditional man is very competitive, self-driven, responsible, hardworking, and even has more testosterone levels. While the modern man is less competitive, more mature, emotionally unstable, and has low testosterone levels. I didn't mean to. In traditional society, men's masculinity and men just being men was rarely accepted. You think everything can be solved with words. Sometimes you just have to go and take it. Well, in modern society, toxic masculinity is basically shaming men for just being men. Why would I not respect you based on the clothing that you choose to wear? Like I've said before, y'all just exposed that you're shitty people. Weird as hell. And I also want to tap on where he said, no man is going to be with a woman who he doesn't respect. That's a damn lie. When men try and act in a masculine way, they're toxically masculine. Mm -hmm. They demonize us. And then another way they do is they try and shame us. And poor lifestyle of eating junk foods rather than natural foods has led to modern man's testosterone levels to decrease for over a decade now. I don't have time for this. A study revealed that men's testosterone levels have been declining significantly since 1980, with an average declining by about 1% per year. Meaning by 2040, men's testosterone levels would have decreased by a staggering 60%. Meaning today's men seem less manly compared to men from 200 years ago. <laughs> uh. So what makes the traditional man more manly? than the modern man today. And how did the modern man become so different? Take me fishing. Let's go back 20,000 years ago, when all humans were tribal. Men were hunters and gatherers, warriors, and were part of a tribe. We traveled and moved searching for food, shelter, and whatever we needed to survive. We were always on the move. But as men, we were always together and always connected. Hunting together, fighting together, and supporting each other. Now this era of human evolution lasted for about 10,000 years, according to anthropologists. About 10,000 years ago is when now humans started settling down and staying in one place, owning a piece of land. Agriculture developed around this time. We started growing things, domesticated animals, and still men were very connected. We had extended families and still part of a tribe, fighting together and working together. That period again lasted until the Industrial Revolution, where men started leaving their farms and going into a city, a factory, or a business, where they would work mostly with other men, and this continued on to the 20th century, until World War II. During World War II, when men were busy fighting, women started coming into factories to work and support the war effort. And when men came back home from the war, it was a completely different world and workplace. Now women are working more, and women are getting better education. She starts working in an aircraft factory, shooting bolts called rivets into warplanes to hold them together. Other women make everything from weapons to submarines. And this is where men's connection started to dissolve. Things like men's club and places where men went to work started to dissolve. A huge part of this brought change in families. Boys weren't around their fathers very much. Well, if you go back 200 years ago, El Chubo would have grown up around his dad, his cousins, usually working on a farm. But after World War II, boys were growing up around their moms, while their dads were off working somewhere doing something their boys couldn't see. Around this time after World War II, divorce cases shot up, which meant that a lot of boys started growing up without their dads around because of divorce or growing up with single moms. As long as you don't have nightmares for a week. No, I won't. I don't get scared like that anymore. Oh, yeah? From 1955 to 1980 during the Vietnam War, the older generation of men was really divided from the younger generation of men. 
the younger generation of men kind of became the hippies and being posed to a more feminist spot. America is so obsessed with bad breath and with underarm deodorant. These are the biggest problems in the world. If you watch uh, television at prime times, advertising is not, is not concerned about poverty, not concerned about race oppression, not concerned about the police, but the biggest problem is, is your hair groomed? And what's it like under your arms? And do you have bad breath? And this is the American obsession. And so, and so I, think that, I think that a generation of kids which says, we don't care about your concepts of cleanliness is a revolutionary generation. They started rebelling against the war attitudes they saw with their fathers. Others. Then feminism came along with angry messages of men are bad, men are rapists, toxic masculinity and so on. Then as boys started to get into school all of a sudden now, they are with women teachers all day long and for several years all around they are surrounded by women. The men are like out of their lives now. This led to school forcing boys to act more like girls, submissive, docile and more attention seeking which may explain why so many boys are said to have ADHD, attention deficiency disorder which contributes to low self-esteem and trouble in relationships. Then the internet came along, and the situation went from bad to worse. Now modern men had instant access to social media, dating apps, and entertainment. There's no war to fight, and no reason to go out into the world and slay the dragon. Why bother while well, you could virtually slay the dragon through video games, all at the comfort of your parents' house? What has happened to modern man is he has not been initiated into the masculine world. That is scary. He has not had other men to teach him how to get comfortable with being uncomfortable, how to relate to women, how to live with purpose and passion, and how to get a job done. The modern men have grown up with things that don't challenge them. They've grown up playing video games, watching non-stop TV, surfing the internet for hours, smoking and eating junk food. When it comes to challenging issues like women, relationships, or work challenges, he doesn't know how to deal with them unlike the traditional men who had to deal with these challenges head on with the help of their fathers, grandfathers and the whole men community. Oh, take me fishing. Teach me how to smoke a pipe. So if the modern man's testosterone levels have been declining by 1% since 1980, does it mean by 2080 it will have decreased by 100%? Because that would have been 100 years since 1980. Leave a comment down below telling us what you think. And also, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like button. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks.